is our first day headed to Santorini. We are leaving Athens from the Piraeus port, and this is the port where you pick up your ferry. We're taking the Blue Star Ferry this morning, which is a really great way to travel to Santorini. Let's go on this boat and see what it's all about. Calimera. Calimera. Oh. Well, this is a very well run and organized ship and crew. Very cool. <sighs> Tickets. All right, this is very cool. The Blue Star Ferry is beautiful and it has this huge business class lounge, which is great. And so we're here and we are going to enjoy our eight hour ferry ride. Uh, Right. We're on the Blue Star Ferry, the Delos, heading to Santorini. It's beautiful. We're in business class. And thank you. And Paris still. Wow, beautiful. Very nice. So nice. Thank you. What do you call this? Uh, Our taxi. Kaluri. 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 Greek. And it's, it's just uh, bread with sesame seeds? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank mm. you, sir. It's <laughs> delicious. Really? Mm-hmm. All right. So our taxi driver, Demetrius, got us this really cool, uh, what I believe is street food here in uh, Athens. And how cool is that? And if you don't feel like eating it, you can always wear it as a bracelet. <laughs> or a crown. <laughs> <laughs> or a crown. <laughs> So Blue Star Ferries is definitely what you want to take when you're traveling from Athens to the islands. And we're going to Santorini. It's about an eight hour ferry ride. Our tickets in business, it's 58 euros and definitely worth it if you're looking for more quiet and some more time to sleep. But some of the better views and amenities are actually in the coach area, which is where I'm at right now. Loaded with people, high energy, it's a lot of fun. This is a place to be on our way to Santorini. All right, we are in Santorini, Greece with a mass of people who are probably all looking for taxis and transfers to our hotels. Thank you. So I got the rental car for 150 euros for all three days, and I had a uh, car reserved for the last day for 102. So honestly, I got a better deal here today. Let's go to Santorini. We have three full days of exploration on the island. We are gonna be doing uh, vineyards and dips in coves and checking out the local food scene shopping and really just kind of seeing what this island has to offer it uh, like I said it's a volcanic island and the park that we're on right now is actually the ridge of the volcano and the center actually imploded or exploded and then fell into the sea so we're literally on one of the edge and the islands that go around it are actually the top of the volcano. I think that's pretty neat and scary all at the same time, just like these roads. All right, so we have arrived with our car at a parking lot. You cannot go into the main town of Fira with a car. It's really all pedestrian. You can get on the outskirt edges, which is where we're at. Fira is behind me. And here we are in a parking lot, and hopefully our car doesn't end up like that. <laughs> and I think we've got about a 20 minute walk with our luggage straight up a hill. Fun times. All right, we just slept all of our luggage up a 45. We just slept all our luggage up a 45 degree angle. So, you know, the good news and bad news. The good news is we just survived what we did. The bad news is this is where we're going. 
<laughs> All right, let's do this. You gotta love those pedestrian areas. All right, we are staying at Hotel Asamina. So let's check in, check this place out. Hello. Hello, what's your name? Mark Felice. Oh, it's nice. It's not yeah. Bad. It's very Greek, blue and white. Call it mackerel. It's time for a drink. All right, so air conditioning is here. The sweat is real. We are in Santorini, Greece, and I'm as greasy as it gets. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> She's doing that great and I'm a step behind her. Let me tell you, we are loving this room at Hotel Asamina. It is light, it's bright, it's white, it's blue, there's air. We have our own beds. So we actually get to enjoy a nice, comfortable sleep tonight. The Wi-Fi seems like it's great. We have a little mini bar, a great looking bathroom, and we are right in the middle of town. So if you are looking for a budget stay, but a comfortable place, this is where to go. A Hotel Asimina in Fira, Santorini. And I can't remember what I paid, but I'm gonna bet that Ryan's gonna edit that on the screen right about now, and he'll tell you what the nightly price is. And uh, anywho, very reasonable uh, for Santorini. In the middle of tourist season, August. We're gonna clean up and then we're hitting the streets. Tonight, we're going for cocktails in Fira and we're gonna check out some cool bars. Hopefully we can get into Franco's bar. It's one of my favorites. And you know, from the looks of it, the sunset is gonna be spectacular. So when you head to the bar scene here in Fira, you'll see not only the most spectacular cafes and restaurants along the coast, but you'll also have plenty of time to pick up that favorite souvenir before you leave Santorini. We are on our way to Franco's bar and if we cannot get in tonight, we'll find another place. You cannot go wrong here in Fira because the view is simply spectacular. But when you come to the bar scene here on the cliffs of Fira, watch out for the donkey dung because it is a serious thing here okay, okay. in Santorini. And that's no lie. <laughs> Well, we are at Franco's Bar in Fira Santorini, and this is the place to take it all in. And we're doing that with some incredible cocktails. This bar has a long-standing tradition of welcoming visitors to Santorini for some of the most spectacular views, as well as classical music and the drinks are as riveting as the sounds that echo off the cliffs of Fira. So for me, I wanted to have a blend of Santorini tonight, and I'm doing that through one of their most popular grapes and wines, and that is the Vinsanto, which I'm having in a drink called the Bitter Sweet Symphony. It has the Vinsanto wine Campari, which I love, strawberry shrub and tonic. Now the Vincento wine here that is so popular on Santorini is actually essentially out of production. And so restaurants are having a very difficult time finding the wine. It's a red wine, as you can see, mixed with the Campari. So you have the bitter and the sweet, hence 
the bittersweet symphony to go with the very bittersweet Wagner in the background, if it's still Wagner. It is. Good. <laughs> Yamas. Yamas. <laughs> Oh, that's delicious. Do you like it? Yeah, it's really unique. One of the most unique things about Franco's Bar, in addition to the sunset, in addition to the incredible cocktails, is the fact that they actually play classical music. So when you're coming in from a stressful day of travel, make Franco's your first stop for aperitivo here in Greece, Santorini. It's quite a classical experience. Dinner tonight is going to be at one of two of the top restaurants here in Santorini. And here we are gonna go to Argo for incredible cuisine and a killer view. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Enjoy your dinner. Now this is, what is this? Pava with sterian, we hooked up loose, we fed it sauce tomato. Uh, this is shrimp saganaki with milk and black sousa. Wow. Beautiful. What a meal. This food looks exquisite. The shrimp saganaki with the black ouzo in there, and then we have the fava bean puree with the octopus and the vegetables. It looks absolutely intense flavor. And we're diving right in right now. Wow. And of course, some bread to enjoy. And some Thank wine. You. And, Ooh, and the wine, of course. I know that. I think it's time for. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. The shrimp saganaki looks fantastic. Mm. It's a beautiful, sweet cream sauce. The shrimp are sweet. The sauce is just a touch of sweet. With this beautiful, I'm um, gonna assume, uh, the tomato and paprika and the ouzo, the black ouzo, absolutely beautiful. A star of Santorini cuisine are the fava beans. And so we're going head first into this beautiful legume. With octopus. Mm. The octopus is super tender. The fava beans are beautiful with a huge pop of garlic. And this tomato seafood stock with the octopus is absolutely thick and delicious. Last but not least tonight, another star of the Santorini cuisine, and that is the white eggplant. <laughs> He's doing a belly dance. <laughs> this dish is incredible. So when you come to Argo in Fira Santorini, you must try the white eggplant. It is tender, it is beautiful, and the cheese, the feta cheese on top, takes it over the edge. My next favorite dish, the fava beans with the octopus. Out of this world good, and don't forget that shrimp saganaki. And with that, we're saganaki out of here. that so one of the things is when we left the hotel asamina we came down the street uh, again that's why it's perfectly located you literally turn right out of the hotel and then right on the corner and follow it all the way straight through the shops to the to the coastal edge of town and when you do you'll see terrace where a bunch of people are out taking photos etc don't stop there that's the quick hit keep on walking around the corner all the way up to the to the hill and you will come to the uh, cafe irini 
which is exactly where you want to be to start your day to take that money shot and to have the most exceptional view of Fira. It doesn't even matter what time of day it is. This is one of the most romantic places I've ever been. <laughs> right? As far as what you can expect price-wise when you come here, um, coffees were four and five euros a piece, so nine euros for coffee, which I think is pretty reasonable for the view. We left breakfast and are now headed to get some money shots of um, the iconic dome cathedrals with those beautiful blue domes and whitewashed walls. Fira is really beautiful. Um, shops on every corner, streets, just wander. It's really the best thing to do to get a feel of the area. Um, but it's a lot of shops and a lot of restaurants and it's all about the view here. I really like these. I hope they have them for men. I need to change out my sandals after three and a half weeks. They have all kinds of men's sandals. All right, I need to up my treads for some new ones. So we stumbled upon this shop. What's the name of the shop? NM. 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 NM here in Fira Santorini. Very good, man. It's a great shop, and the service is even better, and the shoe selection is awesome. Oh, yeah. These are nice. Look at these two shoes. We're talking Greek god Adonis at, the, at night and Playboy during the day. <laughs> no? Does that work? <laughs> All right. But don't forget, girls, he is not uh, he has a girlfriend and he's not married. Don't forget. <laughs> You're single. We we'll had you down here, you see? I love it. I told him there the TV that you are not married and you are a nice guy. He's trying to marry me off, so for one of you lucky folks, <laughs> I'm, I'm available. Next year I'm going to him with a nice wife. Even one baby. That's Even baby. adopted. Even I gotta move fast. <laughs> Even adopted, no problem. I'm getting a shoe and a kid. And a wish. And a wish. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> and Nicholas is taking us out of the shoe store yes, to, to where? Where are we going? We we'll go to the to see the man who has the office, and there they took part one film in maybe 20 years ago, and it's very famous in America. Let's go. Let's go, guys. I'm not sure where we're going, but we're going it's somewhere. The brother of Asimina Hotel. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. The brother, and they were both captains. I. You know this this the film? Two thumbs up. Yeah. No, I never heard of it. This is the, that was the, the office here. The really? Yes. That's his his son. His sons they were here. This is son. Now you can see him after. This is his son. Well, he was not his twenty one years. So they made this film and they filmed it here. Oh, the sisterhood of the traveling pants. Yes, 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 yes. He's filming now. The effects of the movie was here. What was the movie? So the sisterhood of the traveling pants was filmed here in Fira Santorini. And this uh, lobby of the Hotel Asamina is where the post office scene was filmed. I have not seen the movie, but I'm going to check it out when I get back to Denver. The cool thing is, like we experienced with Nicolas at n and Shoes, and like we experienced with Portitos at um, Hotel Asimina, this is a family town. And even though there are a lot of tourists, and there are for a reason, because it's Santorini, the stores, everybody knows each other. It's like, cheers, everyone knows your name. And they do here too, and it's really beautiful to see how they want to share and not just their shop but others and i love the way nicholas took us right in to see portidos at hotel asamina it's really cool it's very great <laughs> 